first, we're going to prepare our body, mind, and spirit for our sleep adventure. Find a comfortable position, sitting or laying down. Close your eyes. Relax the area around your eyes and at the corners of your mouth. Relax your arms. Notice your neck and your shoulders and feel them release. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Let your body rest heavy. Relax your scalp. Let your upper and lower jaw rest loosely. Relax any temptation to resist. Take a long, slow breath with me in through your nose and release when it feels comfortable for you. Feel your belly expand and then deflate. Breathe in again, and on the out breath, let your body melt beneath you. Notice your breath once more. Breathe in deeply to your belly and out. Let your body rest in the stillness. Now, allow your spirit to embody your mind for our adventure. Leave your body feeling heavy beneath you and follow me into the mind. We are in our comfiest summer clothes. Soft shorts with loose waistbands, bathing suits, well-worn t-shirts, and flowing sundresses. Sheer and supple sleeves of fabric that graze our skin seductively in the slight breezes that come and go, come and go. Dragonflies, birds, and occasional butterflies flit, dart, and dance by, chasing each other down the lane. Tall golden grasses line the dirt road we're walking down, and they seem to bend as we pass by. They're listening to our conversations and wanting to join us on our adventure. Making our presence with them last as long as possible. We're walking in a pack, a family. Spread carelessly about the street, since there are rarely cars here. 
and we can see and hear them coming from a long way off if they do. The sun is shining bright, but it's not yet too hot as noon is still nearing. There is a wonderfully comfortable calm of ocean breezes, and they're drifting our way from the distance. The sunbeams are casting a lazy glow on us and on everything they touch. Our flip-flops and sandals snap at our feet as we move forward, crunching a mixture of sand, gravel, and dirt beneath. We're taking our time, soaking in every moment, and enjoying each other's company. We are so lucky to have exactly nowhere to be. Every 40 feet or so, Another cute cottage emerges from beyond the grasses. Sometimes they're nestled in between thickets of bamboo and bushes laden with wild berries. We peek at each taking in some of their magic. They are all so simply numbered. Six, seven, nine, twelve, fifteen. Perfectly quaint and imperfectly lame clapboard and shingles hold decades of secrets and impromptu escapades. Some host window boxes of bright pink, purple, yellow, and blue flowers intermixed with vivid green mosses and ivy. Some have charming fences and screened doors and well-suited shutters. Most boast pebble driveways and brick chimneys that remain unused over the summer in favor of mobile grills that we can faintly hear sizzling. Or perhaps it's just the savory smell of burgers, hot dogs, lobsters, ears of juicy corn, and the occasional marshmallow that have us thinking we can hear them. Either way, we are still full of a delicious breakfast of the best bagels, coffee, fresh fruit, waffles, and pancakes. And so, we are content now to breathe deeply, continue our ambling towards the waterfront, and to imagine the many lives and the countless summers 
that have been able to experience the same enchantment that we are reveling in now. It's a day we know we'll remember happily for years and years to come. We smile at each other. Some of us hold hands, lock arms, touch the silky petals of flowers, pop berries, or pick up some of the many flat rocks that will be perfect for skipping across the water when we come to it. We are getting closer to reaching it now. Salt is hanging thick and noticeable in the air, and the natural grasses are taking over as the only form of foliage sweeping the dunes as they curve up and down, up and down, up and down. We can see the end of the road, which is really the beginning of a path where sand pours into the street haphazardly like a spilled sack of flour that no one has a broom large enough to sweep back towards the sea. As we make contact with the flaxen entrance of sand milled so fine it could be powder, we strip our feet bare and take a moment to let them sink into the soothing substance. It's a texture too exquisite not to luxuriate in, at least for a moment. We make our way up the sandy rise and find a time-worn wooden footpath, equally faded as it is moisture-stained and we begin our short descent to the beachfront below. The tide is low, very, very low. We make it to the secluded shoreline and drop our belongings beneath umbrellas and in deck chairs. We want to see how far we can go. We step carefully past the rocks and beyond the seaweed, which is now laying limp like a mustache of moss. The ocean floor is beneath our feet, so cool and refreshing in divergence of the peaking sunshine. We take our time, watching hermit crabs dip in and out of holes in the sand that slowly sink out of existence. We pick up more flat rocks to skip and shells that will become our souvenirs. We use our toes to squeeze the saturated ocean floor and we try to follow the minnows as they dash aimlessly in leftover dips of ocean water. Far past the sandbars, 
we come upon a number of small boats with their dutiful buoys standing like sentinels at their sides. We search for the funniest boat name and compare the many holes by shape, texture, color, and perceived strength. We sit in the wet sand for a while, discussing the lives of pirates and pioneers. After length, the water begins making its way back to rechristen the shore, and so we do as well. We spot a traveling vendor of summer sweets in the distance and alter our course to quench our thirst and cool our tongue. His cart carries waters and fresh juices, Italian ice and creamsicles, and a vast assortment of iced pops, hard ice creams, and sweet, malleable renditions of our favorite cartoon characters from childhood with gumball eyes skewered on sticks. We each opt for our favorites, thank the kind, patient vendor, and make our way back to our little base on the beachfront. The heat challenges our efficiency, and inevitable streaks of stickies slide down our fingers freely. We sit and lay in the shade of vast and beautiful umbrellas, some on chairs, some on towels, and some finding instinctive comfort in the sand. As we wait for the tide to thicken, we talk about sand castles and starfish and pass around the ocean treasures we've collected on our walk. Beautiful stones glinting with flecks of quartz shells of all colors and patterns, and sea glass in misty tones of green and blue. We have relaxed our legs and feet, and our bodies have melded with the ocean-brushed air. The day is clear and beautiful, with a classically devastating blue sky and plump clouds of the crispest white. So white, they almost seem to not be white at all, but a prismatic, opulent, and ever-changing dazzle. Seagulls begin to circle in with purpose, scanning and squawking in concert. This piece of the world is all ours today, and it is faultless 
but it remains so humble. The tepid tide has rolled in far enough for us to swim. And those of us who have the urge head that way with excitement. Others skip rocks, stand in the shallows, and wash sweet treat residuum from fingers and forearms. Some continue to lay and sit in the sand, reading books or perhaps taking a lazy nap. We play and enjoy each other's company for a couple of hours until our tummies begin to rumble. We pack up the few things we've come with and make for the ascending staircase and boardwalk, toasty and sedated from the sunshine. We head for the local pub restaurant just a ways in on dry land. Crunching back down the secluded dirt lane, we solidify our opinions of our favorite cottages and foliage, and we share in each other's daydreams. The warmth condensing out our backs is drying our swimsuits and clothes, ensuring we'll be comfortable for our meal by the time we reach our destination. A few families are out on their lawns, playing badminton, throwing footballs and frisbees, or shucking corn for their own dinners. Backyard pool splashing and water balloon fights echo in opposition to the tranquility of the neighborhood. We watch the pub creep into our sights like a mirage, and feel thankful for things to come. Seafood delights, burgers and hot dogs, buttery steaks, crisp salads, and hearty breads. Stews, chili, and gumbo, cold drinks, and oyster crackers, and potatoes mashed, fried, and baked with all the trimmings. We open an old-fashioned door and smell it all, ready to eat to our heart's content. We find a spot and pour over the menus already scouting decadent desserts of chocolate layered cakes, key lime pies, warm brownies with vanilla ice cream, flavor rich berries with whipped topping and sorbet, fried dough with cinnamon sugar, and all the cookies we could imagine. After we've had our fill, we make for the fresh air and stretch our legs. It's been a long and wonderful day, but some of the best moments are yet to come. 
we cross a couple of low traffic streets to quickly help ourselves to the beach once more. Sunset is coming and our sandy spot on the beach will make an ideal front row seat. Back in our bare feet and pushing through the still warm softness, we make it there just in time. The sun is hugging the horizon, spouting streaks of vivid orange, salmon, and yellow in all directions. Ribbons of royal purple and true blue cut through the sky above. We sit in silence and watch as the sun resting on the water like a yoke submerges into the depths. But it's not quite time to leave yet. We lay back in the sand, stretch our limbs long, and cast our eyes to the sky where stars are beginning to shine like paint spatter flicked off the end of a brush. It darkens and darkens can barely see each other now, but we can still feel that we're close. The sky is so black, it almost looks blue. Or is it so blue, it almost looks black? We point out constellations and trace them on each other's backs. The most we can hear is the cresting of minute waves rushing in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It is all so beautiful. Our eyes are beginning to feel heavy, so we peel ourselves up and plod home, feeling content and ready for a good night's sleep. Our cottage, number three, is waiting for us with a lantern-like porch light shining into the night. We shake the sand from our shoes and file in peacefully, making our way to brush our teeth and find the swaddling of our bunks. Now it's time to lay down to sleep. We are positioned comfortably in bed and we begin to feel our body again. It feels heavy and whole and good. We breathe in. I am calm and my left leg is heavy. We exhale and feel our body lower.
Breathe in. I am calm and my right leg is heavy. Breathe out. My body is steady. Right now, I am calm and my torso is heavy. My body is grounded and healthy. Right now, I am calm and my shoulders are resting heavy. I sink into the fabric beneath me. Breathe in. I am calm and my head rests heavy. My pillow is here to support me. As we lay, a beam of soothing white light shines down from the universe, accepting us in our welcoming resting state. We notice how peaceful it makes us feel as it touches at the crown of our head. We feel our scalp release. The light begins to travel down our forehead, which relaxes as well. It reaches down from the tops of our ears and over our face like a wave of warm water and it soothes our skin. The space around our eyes relaxes. Our upper and lower jaw relax and the corners of our mouth release gently. The light passes down into our neck, which softens and creates space between the ears and the shoulders. We notice how pleasant the sensation is. The light soothes the shoulders as it continues down, releasing any leftover tension from the day. As our upper back relaxes, it becomes pasted into the comfort of our bed. Our chest and heart open as the light passes downward. It soothes our arms, our stomach, and our fingertips. Our waist falls heavy into bed, resting easy without any tension. The light passes down our legs, soothing the large muscles in our thighs and releasing our knees lightly. It spreads into our shins, cradles our ankles, and finally passes over the tops and bottoms of our feet. The whole body is relaxed and heavy and grounded. I am calm 
and capable. I am peaceful. I am accepted and loved. I am home in myself no matter where I go. I am supported and cared for. I belong here just like anyone else. I am calm and capable. I am peaceful. I am accepted and loved. I am home in myself no matter where I go. I am supported and cared for. I belong here just like anyone else. Breathe in deeply through the nose and notice how calm your body is. Tomorrow we will wake up and resist less. For now, we will sleep. Thank you guys for coming and listening. I hope that you enjoyed our sunnier, warmer beach adventure. And now we have a winter one and a summer one, so I guess next I'll have to do fall or spring. I hope that you all feel nice and relaxed, and I look forward to seeing you in our first stream of May next Thursday. As always, if anyone has any suggestions or requests for stream topics, feel free to send me a personal message, email me, or in some other way, let me know.